we got a great angle of a bunch of migrants in New York City complaining about the free food and hotel that they're getting. Let's play that clip and then we'll get my instant reaction. But at the shelter, the food, my kids cannot eat the food at the shelter. And on, on Ramadan time, we couldn't eat because when you come back for on the breaks, the food is no good at all. And they give us two months to stay at the shelter and then you have to go out again with your luggages and the kids and find another place. It's very difficult. Harai uh and also I have a kid that is like 18 to 19 until now he doesn't have no school mm. so please help us Okay, they're asking for help, and I am empathetic to anybody that needs help. I don't care if they're a Congolese immigrant or if they are uh, an American born here. I actually do want to help out people that need help. But the audacity to go there in the most expensive city in the world, arguably, maybe there's one more expensive city, I don't know, but I, I would say the most expensive city, hands down, in the United States of America, and complain that the food is not good enough, that the free hotel rooms that they get to stay at the Roosevelt Hotel are not good enough, and that they want their 19-year-olds to get free education. The audacity of that clip should enrage everybody. Like I just said this, I do want to help out people that are struggling. I'm not against social services, even though I'm conservative. But the idea that those people that are here in New York City complaining about the conditions in New York City when everybody's conditions in New York City is crap. I mean, literally, people are paying $3,000 to live in a shoebox. To, to go to the McDonald's in New York City is $22 for a Big Mac meal. I don't know how we can help these people, but unless we turn off this unlimited faucet of money and resources to illegal immigrants, we're going to lose our country. And to be honest, it might already be too late. I mean, if you really think about this and you look why are so many immigrants coming to America? Because we have an open border policy. You ask yourself, why do we have an open border policy? Because these people that are in power, they want to switch up the entire population and favor their districts by every time an illegal immigrant comes here, they count on the census just as much as a legal immigrant. So they can basically gerrymander these uh, districts and voting districts based on a falsely inflated population. So what's happening in this country is actually sad. I know this is a comedy show, but there's nothing funnier than seeing a woman from the Congo complaining that her 19 year old isn't going to high school. And to be honest, you know, they ought to, they ought to just let him go to high school because then that team will have a bunch of 19 year old kids from the Congo. They'll probably be badass. Give them a fake birth certificate. Nobody will know. But if you watch that clip and you're okay with that, you're just okay with people complaining when they're getting free food, when they're getting a free house, and their son is 19 years old, but they can't go get a job. They can't go work. They can't go move some furniture. I mean, there's lots of low-skill labor in America. The whole service industry is available to people. They can go work in a kitchen. Trust me, every kitchen in the world probably has an illegal immigrant working there. So I just, I just hate that the American dream does not exist anymore that used to be the dreams if if i can make it here i can make it anywhere you know frank sinatra singing new york new york now it's like when i go to new york if i don't get a free hotel room i'm gonna go to city hall and complain so i wanted to play that video because i cannot even do comedy that is even close to as funny as the entitlement of the people that want to take your resources from your tax dollars and that's the same reason i'm mad that we're funding iran and funding israel to blow each other up I don't want to do that. I would like American resources to stay in America. But sadly, this is a reality in which we live in.
that illegal immigrants are more entitled to social services than struggling Americans. And that should piss people off. I don't know if it does. Jimmy's probably not pissed. Uh, Brandon's probably not pissed. But I am a little pissed. Can we also just say that their language sounds like someone trying to speak in tongues? So listen to this. This is a, from that same meeting. We have the evening class for the one that you wear. Need to uh, challenge, especially if you don't understand. Pull out of yeah. There are unique dialects that are also coming that I've never heard of that I'm learning now um, about people from Madagascar are coming. You have people of uh, Burundi are coming. People from countries that are not common to us. Uh, so language access has been truly, truly a challenge, especially if you don't understand. Polar from Guinea and Polar in Mauritania, Polar in Senegal is very different. So thank you because we have to push for language access because I have seen it, people telling me even to stay in the shelter, to wherever in the herd they cannot stay because when they ask them to um, reapply, they're not getting it. And so thank you for continuing the work. I do want to add on one thing. There is a, a, a significant amount of people who are illiterate. So written does not work. We have been sending voice clips to the migrants, explaining to them what their rights are and to understand what's going on. So it's not just written. We need vocals. Thank you. May I intervene for that? Because So uh, if you just listen to it, that's just a minute. The clip's three minutes. I, re or I posted it, and we'll, we'll probably react to it tomorrow. Most of the Congolese immigrants are illiterate. Yeah, that's tough. <laughs> so they can't even print them. They have to have a physical person there to read it out loud and translate. That's nuts. And I had to address the elephant in the room. You know, the last time we brought over millions of illiterate people from Africa? Oh, gosh. It was during slavery. <laughs> My grind's so refined, I got no time for no games. Ask yourself 